This example will show three new uses for the filter option in Microsoft Excel. An important one is to find partial matches in your column. Also, which columns do you wish to return and being able to use drop downs so let's kick off with the first section. All I've done in column L is create myself a unique list from the name list. So there we go, we can see the formula there. What I've done though is add a filter into the unique to get rid of the zeros. Because the formula is saying look down from B9 to B1000, it would have added a zero there. So that's a nice way of tidying up your drop down data. This isn't a video about drop downs, but let's just cover it again quickly of how great it is with dynamic arrays. If I obviously go to data and I go to validation, I have unticked everything there because I want to be able to type as well. And the beauty of dynamic arrays is we just add the hash command and whatever's there will be fed through to the drop down. So let's start off with the drop down. It's picking up my list from over there and it's giving me the results. If I type J-O-H, you'll see my responses have become John Thomas 1 with ID number 2. There's a second John Thomas with ID number 11, John Bishop. So that is an incredible way of using filter to come back with partial results. And it's using is number and search to achieve that. If I said give me any results with the letters S-H, enter. You'll see my responses are now show me, John Bishop and Mike Hoshton, because all three of those people have uh, SH in their name. Do a filter of a filter and then using an array constant say, I only want the results showing me the first column, skip the second column, keep the third column, skip the fourth column. So in this example, you have to, using filter, bring back the entire array, but you can filter your results using a filter on a filter and an array constant. So there's an example taking you step by step on how to do, and I'll just go through it again. You can have a drop down list to find individual people. You could search on a partial search, J O H, would bring everybody that has J O H in their name. SH would give me a result of anybody with SH. There, if you want to pause the video, is a breakdown of how the formula is working or even a step-by-step -step guide there. 